So, okay, I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about today, and I've decided that I'm going to talk about uh, avoiding lose-lose situations. Now, I've made the mistake, a huge mistake, today, recently, of being in a situation where it's a lose-lose, where I don't want to do something. If I don't do it, I lose. I feel like shit. And if I do it, I feel like shit as well. Those types of situations where it doesn't matter what you do, it's just going to feel worse, you're just going to feel bad. Avoid those as much as possible, Brett. You from the future, myself from the future, anyone who's watching this, avoid those lose-lose situations. It takes your energy out. And right now, I just got back from that and... I have like no energy left. Like it was just like energy vampires just sucked it out of my soul. And I have to study for two hours a day. I want to. I have to and I want to. I get to. I get to do it. But it's just so much energy that's draining out of me. It's just it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. I feel like I wanna throw it up, throw it away, burn it. Avoid those situations as much as possible. I got into that situation because I made a mistake knowingly, willingly in the past. And that just keeps on, keeps on just messing with me and just fucking up my, my life, to be honest. So avoid those situations. Avoid making mistakes. Don't avoid making mistakes you know that are mistakes. Avoid being stupid enough to think that you can get away with shit. Because it will snap back. It, reality would bend back and it would just snap back at your face ten times. It will just fuck you over. So, number one, just Brett, you, average 21 year old, average 30, 40, whatever you old. Avoid making the same mistakes you always made. Avoid making mistakes you know are mistakes. And avoid those lose lose situations as much as possible. Just run away from those. You have to be in a win-win situation. Like Those are the ones you have to strive for. God. <sighs> yeah, that. And also, don't let things get to you. Don't let things get to you. There's a lot of things that, like, this shouldn't, this shouldn't like, consume that much energy of me. And I got to work, and, like, the energy on a Monday, like, after daylight savings, one hour less of sleep, it was just horrible. And I just let that, I was in a good energy, a good vibe, but then my coworkers weren't. And I felt like they were, they were just rude. They were just like not reciprocally um, happy or just kind. They weren't, they weren't t giving or, or, you know, reflecting my energy. They're just taking it out and just sucked, sucked me dry of that. And then I was just, I was just not pissed, but I was meh. I didn't want to talk or do anything. And that's the thing, my voice does change as well. My voice does change when I am, when I'm my default. I try to be happy as a default and my voice does change and reflects that a little higher note, a little more energy behind it. And then it just goes down when I'm talking something serious. And right now it's fine. But it's not something that I can really nearly control. I do want to improve my speech. But that's for a whole nother story. So avoid those lose-lose. And man, if you, can't, if you can't win in a situation, avoid the situation all entirely. And just... Set yourself up. Set yourself up to future success today, Brett. You, me. Stop. Stop. Stop caring about other people that much. Stop. All right.